Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another Elden Ring guide video. In this one, we're going over how to get probably the best weapon in game, the Rivers of Blood Katana. An incredibly overpowered weapon and soon to be nerfed weapon, I'm sure, but for now, it's a popular choice for many players in PvP and PvE. And even the basic build I'm using is very overpowered, as I will show later in the video. But first, let's start with how to get this katana. You can't actually get this until later in the game and you have reached the mountaintops of the giant. From the Grand Lift of Rold, you must head to the Zamor Ruins Grace Point, pass here all the way along to the ancient Snow Valley Ruins. Next, you must reach the Frozen Lake, and you must travel through the lake past the Giant Dragon, and you can stop off at the First Church of Marika. Up the hill from here to the White Ridge Road Grace Point, past the Guardian's Garrison, and across the chain to the Giant's Outpost. Rest at the Site of Grace, and from here you need to travel up the hill past the tough enemies that lurk here, and you will reach the Church of Repos. As soon as you get here, you will be invaded by the Bloody Finger Okina, who, once defeated, will drop the weapon and his unique mask. So, not the most difficult of weapons to get in the game, but it does take a little while in order to reach this area. For stats, the weapon actually does the lowest damage of any of the katanas, but that's not what makes it powerful. Its unique skill, Corpse Piler, is the real damage dealer, and forms a blade of cursed blood for repeated interweaving successive attacks. Follow-ups with an additional input for further successive attacks as well. Now, if you equip this with the White Mask, a few talismans, like the Rotted Winged Talisman, or the Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and mix it in with another weapon that deals build-up damage, or you could equip a Padding Egg Shield, if that's your thing. It makes the game pretty easy, to be honest. I decided the best way to test this was to equip this and the Mimic, and see what it's like against arguably the toughest boss in game, Melenia. And I'm not even set up to use this build properly, as I have my stats evened out to equip any weapon in the game for videos. But I only have 35 in Dexterity and 25 in Arcane, and I only have one Talisman equipped for the build. And my weapon's only level 6 as well. But that just shows, even when you only make the build half as powerful as it can be, it's already overpowered against this boss, which is why it's one of the main things used in PvP, and why it's probably going to be nerfed in the next update. So get it while it's still viable. And even against other enemies and regular bosses, and you're not using the Mimic for help, spamming the skill button pretty much can deal with any enemy fairly easily. And I understand it's not everyone's favourite idea on how to play the game using an overpowered build, but if you're looking for this type of weapon in order to make the game a bit easier, then this is how you get it. Guys, that is it for this one, how to get the Rivers of Blood, and a quick look at the stats as to why the weapon makes for one of the most overpowered builds in a game. Check out some previous videos and other overpowered gear and how to get them as well. Like and subscribe to see more content, including news and updates on the game when they release the new updates. I'm sure there will be one very soon, and I will see you all next time.